In this video, we're going to take a look at a mixture problem, which involves water and a pure solution. We have to be careful with our percentages when we have water or a pure solution. The percentage we use will talk about whatever solution we're talking about in the problem. Water has no antifreeze, no alcohol, no methane, or any other chemical in it, and will usually be associated with a percentage of zero. While a pure solution is made up of 100% of whatever solution we're discussing. In this problem, we have a solution of pure antifreeze mixed with water to make a 65% antifreeze solution. How much of each should be used to make 70 liters? Setting up our mixture table and our tic-tac-toe with an extra row for the totals, we know we take the amount times the part, or percent, to equal the total. We're mixing pure antifreeze, but we don't know how much. So we'll use A for the antifreeze. The part, because it's pure, should be 100%. As a decimal, that would be 1. It is mixed with water. We aren't told the amount of water, so we will use W for water. However, the amount of antifreeze in water is 0%. Our final solution, then, is 65% antifreeze, which we write as 0.65, and we have 70 liters of it. Before we move on, I check to make sure my table's in the right order. 0.65 is between 0 and 1. To calculate our totals, we multiply A times 1 to get A, W times 0, which is 0, and 70 times 0.65 to get 45.5. As we have two variables, we need two equations to solve this problem. This comes from the first column, A plus W equals 70 for our total amount of solution, and the last column, A plus 0, or just A, equals 45.5. This problem is quite convenient, as we already know what A equals. And to find W, we just have to plug that into the other equation. A plus W, or 45.5 plus W, equals 70. Subtracting 45.5 from both sides of the equation tells us that W, or the amount of water we need, is 24.5. Clearly labeling our answers, we need 24.5 liters of water and 45.5 liters of antifreeze. To end up with the final solution we desire. When we're dealing with pure solutions, we remember pure means we're dealing with 100% of whatever chemical we're discussing. When we're dealing with water, water generally is associated with 0% and is used to dilute out a chemical, such as antifreeze, in this problem.